Have you ever put on your favorite shirt and spotted a big stain or perhaps pulled out a comfy sweater and noticed, noticed a bunch of pills? Well, don't fear. Our next guest is here to share some easy solutions for when bad things happen to good clothes. <laughs> Sewing and craft expert Denise Wild is here with her best tips. Hi. Good to see you. I will help you. Please help, help me. all of us because these are things that happen and you don't know what to do. And like you said, you're probably running out the door. You so need true. a quick, easy fix. Especially when the oil gets on the shirt because yeah. I feel like you have to do that immediately. Like you have to address you it right do, away. And that's a great point. Yeah, it's best to do it immediately. So I've got a little oil stain right here. What's somebody to do? Well, okay. dishwashing liquid, it fights grease. And if you, you know, keep an eye out for specific grease fighting yeah. formula, this and it's really good. It just honestly takes and it right out. what do you do? Do you dab so it? So dab rub? it, blot it, you know, just kind of let it soak and absorb. If you have the time, you'll take it and rinse it through with water, but it will really pick up that oil. That's what it's made to do on dishes, and it does it on fabric. So you like don't magic. mix this with, with water ahead no, of time? No, just, just directly it on it, directly on it, and then you can rinse that off, and really you're good to go. That's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, this is multi-purpose, isn't it? Yes, that's true. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I mentioned, you know, pulling out the sweater, you've got a bunch of pills it on it. It always happens. This is a beautiful cashmere sweater, but it's covered in pills. So take a razor. Very easy to do. The trick is you want to mm -hmm. look for a single blade razor. So you've got all the fancy, oh. expensive ones, and Let they have multi-razors. Thank you. Let me give you some tension. We need you. tension. We need tension. But you can use this with a single blade. So the single okay. blade helps to get it really, really nice and close. Mm -hmm. You can see it coming Maybe do it like right when there. you're not wearing it. Yeah, that might help. Just a suggestion. You don't want any accidents. I don't know if you can see yeah, those yeah, things Yeah, yeah, Can you guys off. see that? Yeah, look at oh, that. Yeah. So you can see it in the razor blade too. Yeah, it's Great tricky to see, tip. but it comes off yeah. really easily. Just look for a single blade one. So, you know, you might want to hit up the dollar store. You That's don't want, want multi-blades. Yeah. Okay, so when I was pregnant, yes. I was wearing my pants, and then as I got larger, I had a little trick that I understand. You've got a little trick if your pants Tell are too tight. Yes. Okay, so what I would do, and I think a lot of people know this at home too, um, is you take an elastic and you wrap it like Yes. In this part? Yeah. And yeah. the oh, top I of your zipper, done that. zipper pull. Yeah, and then yeah. I would wrap it around here until I couldn't do it no more. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> because then your pants will fit no matter what size if you've yeah. got the elastic. So often we find that for some reason our zipper just doesn't stay up anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like it's stretched out and it just won't stay. It doesn't have that same resistance. You can take a regular key ring, thread it through the eye of your zipper pull, and then it's easy to pull up. Okay. So you're pulling it up like this, yep. and then you can take oh. that key ring and hook it over top of the okay. button. So that's mm -hmm. when you're still the same size. When you're still the same, yeah. And <laughs> My then hack is when you're growing. Top and you can't even see. Yeah, and then when you're that's growing, you do the elastic. I love that. Look at that. that. Wait a second. Okay, so again, you so can't, you can't even, even see it. it. You can't even see that it's there, that's but it great. is hiding underneath, and then it's holding that zipper pull up so it won't fall down. And then maybe maybe get a new pair of pants at some point, maybe, right? Maybe. <laughs> or but just you do this. Those favorite pants. That's you don't want to get rid of them. You know what? That's so true. Okay, what is our disaster here that we're going to fix? Okay, so I've got, you know, we've got kids, and you Often there's gum sitting on places, you know, you sit down, you get it on your pants, you mm -hmm. get it on your jacket, who knows where. But gum is actually really easy to remove if you use warm vinegar and a toothbrush. Now, do you want to do this Yes, one? I do. Reach over? Okay. So the vinegar has been warmed up. I just did like 15 seconds warm in vinegar. the microwave. What am I doing? And then just kind of scoop it from underneath. Oh. You're not brushing it off. <laughs> Is that really You're not cleaning the gum with the vinegar. I was, oh, look, at, look at she's actually like giving me, <laughs> moving my hand for me. So like this. Exactly. Oh, no so way. you just kind of scoop it from underneath and that vinegar helps to release it and lift it. If your gum is on there and you can't, you know, if you've got a big chunk like that, you might want to freeze oh, it first and then you can snap off the that's majority what I've of done. it. I've put the clothing yes. in a freezer. But then you've got a little bit of that extra that's still stuck on. So you can get, you almost want to get like into the fibers. Yeah, I'm taking This is like here. a mum takeover right now. Like I can do it better. <laughs> <laughs> You're scooping in and kind of right underneath. That's into, working really well. Yeah, and it'll say. come right off. Look at that. Okay, and yeah. uh, suede shoes for okay, those that have shoes, them. If you get a mark on they them. They get dirty, but if you take a simple nail file, and I'll give you this one, and mm -hmm. I'll take this one, okay. you can almost buff off Do I have problems dirt. on this one? Yes, you do. I oh, think I do? Yours are, where are they? Where are my problems? Over on this side. Okay. Yeah, uh, maybe on the heel. Yes, too. on the heel. So okay. on the heel, I don't know if you can see this nice and close up. And this won't damage? You just damage? kind of brush it. It's kind of lifting the, the oh, yeah. bits of the dirt off. Okay. And getting that 
Nice and clean. Love it. Okay, and this, if your shoes, you know, sometimes your shoes are really too tight. You buy them, they're too tight. You know, so as annoying. women, we don't ask for the right size. We say, what size do you have? Okay, I'll make it work, right? <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> so take some uh, Ziploc bags, fill them with water, and then you're gonna pop these into the toes of your shoes. The toes, uh, if they right. are shoes that are already worn, you could wrap them then in a plastic bag and yeah. stick this in the freezer. So the water, of course, as it freezes, will expand and it'll help to stretch out your shoes. We're a little, have a little bit of a leak here, but That's it goes <laughs> right, right, right into the toe of the shoe. Yeah. And then, you know, get it in there nice and good. And then as it freezes, it'll and how long do you leave it, it in there? Just as long as I it. would do it overnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, want the sure. water to freeze and you want the water to expand. And then it just pops right out? Yeah, and then there you go. It These are great <laughs> tips. Thank you so much, Denise. You're very Always welcome. a pleasure. Lots of, lots of things to tackle. Lots of things yeah. to tackle. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.